Top having one top game IFC here and back with another video. And today we'll be doing a preview to the Ukraine v England in the Euro quarter final. What a game we have here. Coming off of the back of what we got here by beating Germany 2 0. And now we go again. Ukraine. And Ukraine we must not underestimate. Oh yeah, and before I get into this, I'm going to explain what's going to be happening. Now, I mentioned about me not being able to watch the match and that. Well, I'll tell you now. I do I do something called Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. I'm currently on my silver. And I'm going away for two days. Well, almost two days. What will be happening, so I'll be walking tomorrow. And it's an early start for me. I have to be there at half tomorrow morning and yeah and then I'll be back by 7 so I'll get to watch the match tomorrow and then I'll be there at on Sunday because they made a bit of a mess up with the camping so yeah I'll get to watch the match after all but that still doesn't mean I won't but yeah I'm just saying I've got a busy weekend now so yeah anyway make sure you subscribe and that and yeah so Ukraine do not underestimate these. They've got some really, really great players. Such as Andrei Shevchenko from Man City. You've got Yarmolenko. So yeah, they're, they're just as good as us on paper. I mean, you might think an our path to the f final on paper. But wait. When you see the players we've got. And then you realise it's not actually the easy. Easy, it's just the easier of the half. Because then we could face Denmark, which are full of Premier League players. And that, Kasper Schmeichel, and that. I mean, we we got to be on our game. We cannot, we have to be attacking, we have to grow into the game if we start on the back foot. We have to score. Because they've got one tactic. Pass the ball to Shevchenko, and yeah. Vice versa, and yeah, bang, in the back of the net. And we got to do a lot defensively to contain him, and that. We really have to contain him, because otherwise, if we don't contain him, he will mug us off. We saw it against Sweden. He literally got it in the last minute of extra time. Now, because of what I'm doing this weekend, I'm just praying this game. Please do not put this game to extra time, because I... Cannot afford it. Every minute of sleep I lose counts. The reason for that is, yeah, DLV is tough. Duke of Edinburgh War Scheme is tough. Trust me, I've got to carry like a big rock sack and you can see a knacker in it actually is. But I'll explain that in a future video when the Euro is over. What I, my hobby. So yeah, like I said, they can, as soon as they pass the ball to Shevchenko, he knows what he's doing. He is their danger man. But remember, we've got a much better team. Just remember that. We've got to look at them. Yeah, they've got great players and that. We've got to say, look, that's what's in front of us. We don't choose who we're going to face. It's what we're given. And we've got to make, take that into perspective. It's what we're given in the match. And that. We must not. We must go out there and say, look, they're a good side. And yeah, I have to say, Ukraine are a great side. They're even, they're even in pot one with England and all that. That shows you why you must not like, mug them off. During the Euro store, they were in pot one. It shows you how good they actually are. But yeah, we, as England, we've got to look at that team. We've got to go, yeah, but we're actually better than them because on paper we are. And we should win this. It will be tight though. They will, they will have chances. They will have moments in it. Yeah. To say the least. So yeah, we've got to be on our own game. No matter who we face. Play attacking football and st solid defence. So, my starting 11. Pickford. I'm going to go with... Hukeshaw... Kyle Walker and, yeah, Kyle Walker, John Stones, yeah. Then I'm going to go with Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips. This is what I think the manager will go with. 
And I have a feeling he's going to start Grealish, Saka, Kane, Sterling. So yeah, that's my predicted 11. That's who I think he will start, in my opinion. And Southgate, please do not do this thing. Because you've, it's nice, you have a bit of an attitude for underestimating teams. I'm not. And yeah, Ukraine also are going to set up quite defensively. Ukraine are going to set up in a 3-5-2 formation. Yeah. Well, if we play an attacking formation, we can get through, nullify their defence. Yeah, and that's why I think Jack Greenish and my predict the rest of my predicted 11 should be okay for this. Because then they can pass through, they can drop... That 11 can't have actually driven the team forward. We saw it against Germany. I mean, Jack Greenish to Shaw, driving forward, and then passing to Sterling, both occasions as well. If we do that, then yeah. And we, we, we just play like we did against Germany, really. There's no actual answer. Go out there, perform, just want to see the job done. With my weekend, I do not want to be seeing extra time. I just have that feeling it will, because it, it's ironic, can't it? But this country's very ironic. We are an ironic nation. Like, I say, oh, okay, I'm going to, we're going to wait a couple of hours, and it, this country is very literal. That's what I've got to remember. So I might eat my words instantly. Oh, God. But no, it should be a good game. I should, should be all right. So, yeah. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. It's a short one today. And yeah, go out there, perform, get to the semis. I believe Czech Republic and Denmark play a couple of hours before us. So by the time we play, we'll know who our quarter-final opponents or our semi-final opponents will be should we get rip, rip through. So yeah, anything... Anyway, Ukraine against England, in Rome. Thank you for watching, see you in the next vid, which might not be that I do a vid on Monday or because I'm on the rest after what I did. So yeah, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.